Marcus Mariota, 21 of 28 for 230 yards, a touchdown, and no interceptions. So 20 touchdowns on the season. Kirk Herbstreet, not a single interception yet. This was a game that was tied at the half, and then the Ducks explode for four touchdowns in the second yeah, half. Yeah, they were challenged early and made a few mistakes, I think, to keep UCLA in it. UCLA came in with a big chip on their shoulder. I think just wanted to maybe prove to people that they are better than maybe some people uh, expected from them in this game. And then I think, as Brent said, in the second half, it was just Marcus Mariota, Byron Marshall, and an outstanding Nick Aliotti defense. The Ducks came to play in the second half on Speaking defense. Speaking of Marshall, he mm -hmm. took over as the running back. We didn't see the Anthony Thomas. Yeah, we kind of came in thinking that we would see more of D'Anthony Thomas, but it was Marshall who, who stepped up since that has been down. This is his fifth straight game where he's gone over 100 yards. And this is an offense that always prides itself on having a difference maker at that position. They've got depth there. They've proven that there this first half of this season without D'Anthony Thomas. Marshall, I think, brings a great energy. You can see 133 yards on the night, seven yards a carry, which when, you, when you're running the football like that, it takes a lot of pressure off of Mariota. Mariota didn't miss a pass in the second half. Now, Herbie, taking a look at the top of the BCS standings, of course, Alabama, Florida State, and Oregon right there. Now, Bama and Florida State went out early in their two games. They did. I mean, Alabama and Florida State both were about as dominant as you could hope for. Uh, and, and then you look at this game, and, and I think it's going to be interesting to see how the voters evaluate this game. I think it's going to be a week-to-week week week subjective analysis from all the different voters from the Harris Poll and the Coaches Poll. I still think that you're probably going to see Oregon, as far as the votes go with the human factor, probably ahead of Florida State. Florida State gets a big stage next week against Miami. And here comes Ohio State. They went out tonight, dominated uh, Penn State at home, and they're starting to all of a sudden get into the discussion as well. So here in Eugene, Herbie, this is the best-selling T-shirt in town. Guess what, folks? They're also <laughs> selling it in Tallahassee. Oh, yeah.